All right, doing a response video. A couple of subjects I might as well hit. Uh, this is going to be about Obama flipper. <laughs> I'll call him that. Uh, Ajama flipper. It's done a, a video nagging me, so I'll take care of him after I just get rid of this little news stuff. Um, that straight dope jackass did finally file the counter notification. So yeah, I've told YouTube that I'm going to add him to the lawsuit. So yeah, he's being sued. So that's at least moving forward. Um, Jones had filed some papers in the case, you know, demanding this, demanding that, because we have to have this conference thing that, you know, case management is called. Um, it's not really part of federal. It's part of the law, but it's not part of the law. <laughs> uh, but anyway, and it's usually something that's done by lawyers, not actual pro se parties in cases. So obviously, when Jones sends me papers where it says, uh, you know, Gary uh, the Psycho as my middle name and then my name on the papers, um, you know, on the envelope. I have no obligation to um, uh, take that seriously. Um, he's basically committing the same crimes in sending mail labeled that way to me. Um, that's harassment and um, um, <laughs> so right there he's, you know, he's, he's, he's just adding more evidence to the case that he can't control his, his, uh, his, his excessive rhetoric. Uh, but anyway, so that case is moving forward, blah, blah, blah. We don't have a real hearing until the end of uh, February, I think, February 24th, or maybe it's March something, actually. I had to file papers by the 24th. Um, so anyway, so yeah, i got to work on that. And uh, yeah, so we'll move on to the uh, Ujama Flipper guy. I think that's yeah, that cover. There's something else. Well, maybe I'll remember it, and then I'll get to it. Uh, yeah, we pointed out how I put the video... Um, I'm only going to play part of this video. This is just redundant. But he, he said something about I put the um, the response video to anti bullshit man on the stupid subject of circumcision, which I think we've all had a chance to talk about. Uh, that I put it on the website. Not only did that because it went, it, it wasn't way like it wasn't enough for a two part video. It was just enough to be one part. I mean, it was just too long a video. And I was just like, I'm not going to put a two part video up on this subject again. And uh, so, yeah, just it was ease of uploading. I said, the hell with it. I'll just put it on the website. Um, and that's how I feel about the subject. So you people can't have a rational conversation on this fucking subject. You won't give up words like amputation and mutilation. How do I have a rational conversation with assholes who are clinging to that kind of language? I mean, it's complete bullshit. There's absolutely no evidence of any dysfunction caused by circumcision. No evidence of it. None. Zero evidence of dysfunction being caused by it. Yet you assholes will cling to this bullshit rhetoric. Why is that? And I'm supposed to just sit back and say, fine, you're going to call me an idiot, you're going to call me a moron, you're going to call me all these fucking names like I'm defending some kind of religious practice when that isn't anything in my, in my discussion of the subject. Uh, it's just such a pile of shit. And I'm not taking your shit. Even if, you're call, if you say you're my friend, well, why should I take your shit? I have no obligation to do that. Bullshit, man. Every time you shout that, made me feel fucking sick. You know what? Yeah, well, every time you use the words like mutilation to describe what is, uh, yeah, it's it's a change, it's a it's a reconfiguration. But people aren't mutilating their babies. They don't sit there and say, "Oh yes, please mutilate my fucking baby." That's not what they're saying, and you goddamn know it. A person's intent is not to just mutilate their fucking kid. Okay, there is some sort of reasoning behind it. And the reasoning is not fallacious nonsense. And this is a man, right? This is Andy Bullshit, man. This is a man who brings you what you always say that he wants, yeah? You say, argue the argument, yeah? And that's exactly what he does. Yeah, right. So he was arguing the argument when he used words like amputation and mutilation. And I won't even get into his derogatory comments about how stupid you have to believe, be to, to, to think that the, there's any validity to this idea of circumcising or how stupid it is to sit there and say well why don't we do some experiments or why don't we find out definitively one way or the other and then to completely ignore the fucking valid arguments I've brought up the fact that no one is going to change their is no one no one's going to go through the process 20 years later it's a it's a decision that has to be made by the parents it has to be done right after birth or there's no fucking way it's going to get goddamn done it's like any other decision. Parents make lots of decisions. They decide whether you're going to play the violin or not going to play the violin. And they go, they go sit there and say, okay, I'm going to force my kid to spend an hour a day playing the fucking violin. Or they're not going to. These are decisions parents have to make. You can't unmake them 20 years later. You can't just snap your fingers and say, I'm going to play the fucking violin, can you? No, you can't. And you might not even be able to fucking learn it at that age. 
Okay, because there is a fucking learning curve. It's easier to learn languages and musical instruments and all that shit when you're fucking six years old versus when you're 60. So fuck you and this bullshit. He's not giving, he's not arguing the argument. He's arguing goddamn fucking propaganda. And he's throwing it in my fucking face and saying I should fucking eat it. And I'm not going to eat it whether he's my goddamn friend or not. And he fucking sticks up for you. There's not many people, you know. You probably noticed by now. And I've fucking been accused of this as well. And a few people have, you know. We get called sycophants. We get called fucking sheep, yeah. Because there's not many people who fucking follow all your videos, yeah. Who who stick up to you like he does. Well, yeah. who the hell fucking cares? Like I say, don't stick up for me. Stick up for the videos, the ideas you care for. That's it. Period. End of it. Okay. Defend ideas. Talk about ideas. You don't have to even bring up my fucking goddamn name. You can sit there and talk about it your goddamn self. I don't have to have a goddamn thing to do with it. You want to give me some kind of credit for coming up with a phrase? Fine. Leave it at that. Say this disgusting Adolf Hitler once said, and then you can explain how, Adolf, how it has nothing to do with what Adolf Hitler believed in. It's just that he happened to say this great line. Okay? And then you can explain how it fits into your philosophy. I don't give a fuck. I don't... I, look, you've said it in the video that I don't think I owe you anything. I don't owe you anything, goddammit. And I don't have to sit there and take this shit on a goddamn bullshit subject. I'm annoyed I have to even discuss this fucking subject. The only reason why I got into this fucking subject is because this rhetoric was crap. Okay? Comparing circumcision to the, you know, female uh, circumcision was so idiotic. Okay? They don't, when they circumcise a woman, they don't fucking cut off foreskin. They don't cut off extra bullshit. They cut off the fucking main deal. And, and the words like amputation, I'm supposed to accept that kind of crap? fucking balls to do it. He argues the argument, yeah? He brings you the fucking argument. He does, he treats you with fucking respect. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I didn't see any, you saw respect in his video to me. I didn't see any goddamn respect. I saw him do a, a by the way, he calls it. Um, and where he spent tw you know, the fucking 70% of his seven minutes of it sitting there yammering at me like I fucking crossed some kind of logical line or fairness line or some other bullshit. And I goddamn didn't do that. He's the one with the fucking obscene rhetoric obscenely fucking goddamn propagandist bullshit rhetoric. He never fucking uses ad hominems, he never calls you names, he never fucking takes a piss out of you. Yeah, well, whatever, you can say he never calls me names, there's plenty of it in there, okay? When he's in, the, the implications of his fucking argument were, were veiled, uh, yes, maybe. Maybe he didn't say the word fuck you, but he said it pretty clear to me. I heard it loud and fucking goddamn clear. Yeah. You might say your argument's bullshit. You might say a certain point that you've said. Yeah, well, that's the same thing, isn't it? When you say somebody's argument's bullshit, for, in my book, that's that's calling me bullshit. All right? So my argument is me. My beliefs are me. That's me. That's the only part of me I have any fucking give a damn about. So when you attack that, yeah, you're attacking my core. It's bullshit. But then it explain why he thinks it's bullshit. You don't just fucking... Shout fucking swear words and insults. No, he yeah. just keeps using this fucking disgusting, defending this disgusting rhetoric, mutilation. He's going to keep saying he has a right to use that word. But that's what people are doing. They're just sitting there digging into their skin like some psychotic asshole. They're just cutting off foreskin for the goddamn fun of it. No, there's goddamn reasons. And explain why he thinks your fucking points are bullshit. Yeah, well, he didn't do that. Like I said, he didn't explain how, you know, very educated, rational people can believe that this procedure has value. And he won't concede that point. Shows you some fucking respect and you don't show them back. It's fucking, it made me feel fucking sick that response on the website. Well, why did you put it on the website anyway? It's a bit of a fucking wuss move when it's stick out on the website. I think, well, one or two things... Well, you, like, you know, yeah, see, now you're just going to make some bullshit speculation. I, okay, I put it on the website because I just didn't give a fuck, and it was too long a video for YouTube, and that's the truth. It was too long a video for YouTube. I wanted a one-part video, and it was over more than one part. So that's why I fucking goddamn did it. All right, but I'll post it, a big, giant finger point to it. Big, giant finger point to it, okay? The link to the goddamn fucking video. All right, I'm not, I'm not unsatisfied with that video. I'm confident enough of your response to stick it on YouTube because you knew it was fucking rubbish. Well, it's either that or you just, I don't know, maybe you didn't want to put it on YouTube because you knew, you knew it made you like a fucking idiot. Yeah, well, fuck you. Um, anyway, I got a phone call. I'll get back to this shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Um, yeah, I'll make it two parts. So this will be uh, end of part one.
<laughs> yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, just looking for the goddamn button. 